is up guys it's to J here welcome to open your eyes or don't open your eyes it's either or should I play this game close or open start game and that opens okay text-based game by the way looks friggin awesome so we're waking up what mm -hmm. it's kind of have like that I have the same lap going on it's getting late my eyelids have begun to feel heavy. Can I press enter? Okay, good. I, I better go to sleep. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I, I leave aside the book I've been reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intru intrusive thoughts. My, but not even the turning gives of my brain are per producing much sound tonight just oddly quiet quiet bro you just go to sleep too quiet uh-oh we're gonna get robbed we're gonna get stabbed something i feel restless my sight veers towards the hallway outside my door dude his imagination is gonna be tripping though the distance between my room and the opposite wall is only 10 steps long. Wait, why, how, why do you calculate that? It's kind of creepy. I'd know since I've made a habit of counting them wherever I, whenever I go out. Once again, why? One, two, three. But what? Uh, what abs, the, 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 words. Okay, yes. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings. To the smallest details. You're, you're one of those, man. It's so specific. But tonight... Is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness, like the throat of a gargantuan beast as my dog barks in the background. <laughs> Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway. But someone's here. I'm gonna be an intruder's gotta go and come and hug me, and I'm not gonna like it. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to look at it. At the darkness at your hallway? Just close the door. It's a simple solution. So I take a deep breath and close my eyes. Right, let's do it too. Oh, oh, oh it, it actually, okay. It's actually closing. Are we going to go to dream now? In my room? Oh, this. There's a bed. I, he's envisioning his room in his head. That's kind of cool. In my room. There's a closet, right? There's a wardrobe or that in my room. Pictures window. That's the, uh, there's pictures framed on the wall. Okay. Then there's the door with a little flicker or as a part of myself. What, what are we like stuck in bed? That actually be really weird. It's a world. I know like the back of my hand. For someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around, I'd, I'd just do it. I'd do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I, what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. I like uh, how it's sketched. Very nice. I need to wake up early tomorrow. For work, I should really try to sleep. So sleep. At least I don't have any problems. I close my eyes and I'm out. So maybe this guy's got some major insomnia. I know people that suffer with that. I feel sorry for you guys. Oh no, he's hearing stuff. Someone's in the house. Is it? Could be our brain though. What's that sound? Are those footsteps? Dude, bro. <laughs> it's giving me the creeps. Hello? Oh, it's coming closer. No, that's impossible. It must be my imagination, right? Well, this is hella creepy all of a sudden. But it's getting closer. Yeah. And close. Stop. Bro. Bro. And close. Oh, stop. I, I feel a jump scare. They are gone. Right. There's no way someone could be there. Probably. 
Oh, for the love. Oh, what is that? Hello? That ain't human. Hi. Your eyes. Pa! Did it. Oh, okay. Oh, God. No, don't, don't, don't open your eyes. I don't open my eyes. Because maybe we can go open through this. Eyes. We're a master at having our eyes closed, I guess. Oh, no, Look I'm not. At me. How about no? I do my best to ignore the voice. Why won't you Oh, this is good. Oh, look at that. Oh, God. Manners? Oh, shit. If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? Well, you just said it yourself. You're a stranger, is so. How it is? Yes. In my world. In my room. Matter of fact, it's my room, my rules. I could feel someone breathing over my ear. Wait, over my ear? What? Are we way back there, our head? It's cold. I will share a secret with you. Okay, I like secrets. Is it a dirty little secret? I have never seen myself before. I don't know if my face is ugly. Well, I'm... Oh, so you want me to, like, rate your face? I don't know the color of my skin. I don't know if I'm even here. Yo, this is deep. That is why I need you to open your eyes. Uh, so you can tell me how I look. But I'm also shy. Well, so I, might I can be too. You, do, you won't find me anywhere. And it's in my head. You will forget. Like a faded dream. I know you're not asleep. Listen, with those tiny ears of yours. You, you just call my ears tiny? What do I they look so fragile. Like I could almost grab them. Are you gonna really rape my ears? I feel something caress my ear. Oh, he's raping. Around them. Get away from me. Who said you're allowed? Tear them off. What if I do? Will you scream? Probably. This guy gave me the creeps. You'll hear a lot more than me Let's screaming. Joke. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, yeah, Don't good one. Don't be scared. Okay. Hey. Hi. How do you think my eyes look? Uh. When our cases finally meet, what will you find? It's a stranger. I don't. Okay. They look broken. They look empty. They look lost. Um, you know what? Let's say, let's say lost. They look lost. Yes. Be oh, because you're in my room, and you're prob you're you're in someone else's house. That may be so. Someone else's mind. You're a lost one, Mister Grinch. <laughs> I am never sure of where I am. Okay. My days consist of wandering about aimlessly. Searching for something. I worry that if I'm not paying attention, what I'm searching for will slip away. Gotcha. The thought terrifies me. I can say the same thing, I, I guess. It terrifies me so much, so I always keep my eyes peeled. Okay. Even if there's nothing to see. That way, nothing will slip away. No matter where it goes, and no matter where it hides, no matter how terrifying the world might be, no matter the countless terrible things I witness by mistake in the process, no matter what, I will never blink. Jesus, okay. I will forever be confused by the worlds around me. I will forever be lost. But what is that something that I'm searching for? I, I don't know. It's been so long since my wandering began. I can no longer recall the feelings that drove me to it. I'll, I almost heard that voice crack. And also this it? caressing in my ears. Kind of starting to low-key enjoy it? What is it? Is it something I can hold? 
Wait, what, what are we going? You lost me now. What are you talking about? Is it a being of flesh and bones? What, are you talking about life right now? Freaking vague conversation. Is it nearby? What are we talking? This is the thing. I'm like, kind of, I'm selective hearing here, so. Is it you? M me? Hey. Hi. Have you ever looked so fervently for something that you end up say. yourself in the process? Nope. Have you? No. What? I want to say no, though. These Why don't... eyes. Are these my eyes? Uh, yeah. Uh, wait. Hold up. What if the game's trying to make us seem like oh, that's someone else, but maybe that's just us because we are pictured the room in our mind that we're picturing this figure, but the, even the hearing could be just me talking to myself. Just maybe. So we're gonna we're gonna still gonna say yes though. A good answer. Hey, thanks. Giving me compliments too. Yeah, there is only one way to know the truth. Right. Open your eyes. This guy's persistent. I... No, let's keep going. So you won't look look at this me. conversation. No. Wait. Is he gonna get mad? Even though your eyes are so pretty. Wait, how do you know? Because my eyes would be closed because I'm sleeping, right? I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their veil of flesh. Got an imagination like I do, huh? It's almost like we're the same person. Round like pearls. Okay. Shiny like jewels. Well, why not shiny like pearls? So, so pretty. God. Okay. It's now you give me the creeps. We still have time. Okay. The night is still and silent. Where are the crickets? I like crickets. No, he, he ain't leaving. Not until this sun starts to rise. Now he's breathing in my ear. Bro, can I just get some sleep? Unless this is what insomnia... Like the side effects of insomnia. Their doors. Okay. Do you know what a door is? Uh, yeah, it's kind of right behind you, buddy. It's like right there. Of course you know. Yeah, it's right there. I stare at it every night, actually. You have one right there. At the verge it's a of word right out of my mouth. Is a barrier to keep the bad out. The bad out. The bad can be anything. A bad person. A bad smell. And sometimes, me. I can't open doors. I find them tricky. Should I push or pull? Wait, excuse me? What? Oh, the door. Should I turn the knob left? Kinda of doesn't make a difference left or right, still still opens the door. Should I try to take it off its inches? Well, I mean if you don't want a door, then I would recommend that, yes. Should I chip away at it? Hoping it will fall apart. Well that's unnecessary. And what happens when it opens? You go into another room. Another dimension. Uh a different imagination. I, I don't know. Close it behind. I mean, if you're really overprotective, sure. You don't have to. Uh, you want to get backstabbed? Leave it open. Close it. Keep your back safe. I don't know. That might be rude to the person who had it closed. True. Well, yeah, if someone's right behind you, he's like, nah, close the door. Sorry, bro. But then, how do I get out? Nice. What happens if the wind pushes it close? Then, then you just open it. It's not hard. Flip, flip, boop. So many options. So many things. Too I complicated. Control. It could be as simple as just opening it. Stop. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. I okay. stare at it for a long time. I feel really sorry. And think of my excuses. Okay. Because that's all they are. What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist. <laughs> bothers me that you kind of exist right now, I mean, just saying. To keep me out, it fills me with the need to go in, so I search for a crevice or a window. To go out or come in? Anything that might be open. What about my ear? My ear's open. Don't go in my ear. Anything that might let me in. 
What are you good with? Don't answer that. But as long as there's a place where I can fit, then I can go in anywhere, every night. Is it getting kinky or what? The shadows of the streets. Okay. I'm careful so as to not be caught by the light. In my eternal search, I pick a place where to rest. I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable without alerting anyone. Like my house currently, correct? Usually it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. Are you calling my house dirty? I feel at home there. I could take offense to that. But sometimes, just sometimes, an urge swells inside of me. To do what? The urge to be seen. Okay. Well, I'm seeing so I search you. hard. My imagination. For a door that's open. Yes. For an entryway covered in darkness. And for someone to be at the other end. Awake. As if expecting me. But you won't look at me. I'm sorry. Until you had your door open for visitors. What if I open my eyes like right away? Would that the game just be over? Why is that? Uh, because I am my own being. I make my own decisions, buddy boy. Are you afraid? Eh, maybe. I don't. Who knows? I mean, if I'm talking to myself for this long, maybe. I don't. Do I scare you? No. Your voice sounds that soothing. Can't be it. Chatting for so long. Not that long, about five minutes, ten minutes. You haven't chased me out. That means you welcome me. Okay, let's not take it the the, the wrong way here. That's that's so I'm not what I mean. That if I were to reach out my hand, you would reciprocate and grasp it. Okay, now what? I'm sure your hands are warm. Okay. So very warm. Glad you think that. Because people are always warm. Yeah, yeah, it's warm blooded. Hmm. Hey. Hi. How do my hands look? You want me to look at them? When my warmth finally meets yours, how will it feel? Answer me. Um. They look. De uh, what? They look incomplete. They look tired. Yes. I'm gonna say tired because he's here in my room. It could be not. I don't know. They look. They look tired. They look tired. Yes. Oh, we got some salad finger looking fingers. Well, my that dog, dog so. keeps barking in the background. What? These fingers of mine have touched so many things. I don't even want to know what you touch. Let's not begin there. No. Ugh, no. They are always stretching. Out for something. <laughs> okay. The tip of my fingers dance over the surfaces that I travel. It, he looks like he has long ass nails. And there are sensations reach the core of my brain. Be it the softness of the first spring flowers, or the roughness of a wall made out of rubbish, caressing, grabbing, clawing. Okay. No matter the time of day. No matter if I'm awake or asleep, as if they had a mind of their own. Even now, they clutch onto the fabric of your bed sheets. You want to get freaking uh, aroused by my bed sheets? Go right ahead. I guess. Right. They kind of spend these thousands of threads intertwined with each other. The rustle of fabric against fabric. Of skin against skin is orgasmic, irresistible. Yeah, I missed a chance there. More. I want to feel closer to have it between them and around them. More He's gonna make love with my bed sheets. More. That is the first time I'm gonna be hearing about Sometimes. this. Sometimes, however, they can reach as far as they'd like. That's when I lend a hand. I take over and stretch, 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 and they grow. What? Maybe 
just the length of a fingernail every time, but they grow just so they can reach out, clutch what they want, and then throw it aside, discard it, and forgotten. That's why they are tired. Okay. Because they never stop seeking, and most likely, never will. That's unfortunate. A lot of things. Only to learn that it's been long out of your grasp. That's what you mean. Have you? Yeah. I could, yeah. Why do I remain silent, please? These hands. Are these my hands? Yes. A good answer. Thank you. Yet, oh, this is friendly. One way to know the truth. Open your eyes. What if I keep my eyes closed the whole time? No. So you won't look at me? No. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. I don't know, this guy. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, it's just like, it's like putting the boundary between your own imagination, like talking to yourself, and then talking to some... St hmm. I'm still gonna go with, it's probably me just talking to myself, trying to sleep. It's just like, I'm asking myself, like, yo, just open your eyes. And I'm like, no, because I'm stubborn. And you're like, well, okay, go to sleep then. No. Think about it. <clears throat> no. How about I go to sleep? Maybe you and I are similar. No, I know we are. I can feel it in my skin. You about to sing crawling in my skin? Oh. <clears throat> what? Can you hear it? What? The heartbeat? That means you're alive. My skin is pulsating. No, that's your heart, buddy. It has been long since this happened. It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. Okay. I wander the world wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. It's actually kind of sad, because <clears throat> let's say that's... <clears throat> Gotta love when you're doing recordings and the voice just goes, Hey, let's add a lot of shit in my throat, so I gotta clear it. Okay, so, I was just thinking, like, that's kind of sad, because I know that there's people out there that think like this, and they constantly are like, well... They constantly are worried of how other people think about them. And I, personally, I, I, I'm the complete opposite. If you love yourself then who cares what other people think? And I'm thinking in this game, the character, or even this person, which is portraying as another stranger, but like maybe it's just us, and it's just, that's what it's telling us, that we're worried and always like thinking what other people think about her. I think it's a girl, right? Or a guy, I don't, did it say? I'm thinking like the main character we're playing as a girl. I don't know why a girl, but. But it's not like it. so easy since I could show myself to everyone at once every living person in this land it's a bit much and ask them all the same question someone will answer there's no doubt about it you're not wrong but it might not be the answer I wish for that's that's the key right there since I don't want to be judged I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. It scares me. So then just don't. That is why, when someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. I hide, fading into the dark. But you might be different. Out of everyone, just me. I mean, I, I appreciate it. Well, uh, you make it sound like I'm the chosen one here, jeez. If it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. That way you can help me, and we can both be fulfilled. Ah, uh, just thinking about it, it makes me feel 
whole, wholesome. Like, uh, I don't, okay. Feel like an actual human being. Well, no, he did say. Now here we go. Something. You feel love. You feel wanted. I don't know. I cannot describe it. I am not good with words. You sure about that? You hear those whispers? Damn. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. Okay. <laughs> they were not good at it either. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. Didn't enjoy speaking? To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. Yet, they did. Because they wanted to. Simply because they could. It is weird to remember. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. And I am not. Sure, I don't care much for my appearance. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? Because as a, as a being, I'm not even going to say human at this point, but as a being, you always need some recognition. That, like, there's something. Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. But I will. Soon. Once you open your eyes. This guy's... I'm getting like this vibe of being like selfish in some ways. Good old heartbeat. You Keeps kicking. And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. Well. And you inspect every crevice of mine. Okay. And you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours. Wait. What? To let me hear. you feel wet, doesn't it? But I don't know what. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. Currently looking at your face. Hey. In my head. What does my expression look like? When that fill of uncertainty finally disappears, what will we convey to each other? Answer me. It's a cheerful smile, it's a surprised grimace, it's an emotionless stare. I don't think he's smiling. Maybe it's a mm, emotional stare. Emotionless. Actually, maybe, because of how he's whispering to me. It does sound like he's just like, yes. Pretty much. An emotionless stare. Yes. Oh. This guy looks depressed. Like I'm. It may be so. <laughs> Expressions are difficult. They require one's face to contort in many different ways. I am not capable of that. Everything about me is stiff. Okay. From the way I walk. We won't go there. Yes. They form connections. They experience thrills. A person becomes someone different with each passing second, turning old and perishing. However, I don't like how he's I don't think I'm capable thinking about of any it. of those things. Well, no, uh, my journey. Why are you being so demoralizing? Ago. Is that the right word? Uh, my journey begin. Okay. Longer than any person has ever journeyed. And in my life, I have seen others born and die. 
trying to grasp the meaning like so that means you've been or maybe I have been I don't know wait what born and die yes a person's existence is so fleeting I can agree and yet so many things happen to them so many worthwhile memories mm-hmm it is something I lack were I to write a book I could not fill a single page it's not for the I'd lack read of that memories. I don't gotta read. But rather, because these memories mean nothing to me, save for a minuscule number, they are all the same, blending with each other into a mottled gray, lacking the meaning people often give to that which they care about. Perhaps, if someone else had lived what I had, they would see meaning, they would treasure it, but I cannot. No matter how I try, I can't see any worth in what I do, and by extension, in what I am, I want for someone to tell me how I look, yet, I don't see that as important, no one but me would care, so why should I care, but that doesn't mean I have never felt, I feel things, joy, Sorry. I do see those fingers. You sure do feel things. Okay. I'm always feeling. And right now. So he's feeling stuff, and I give him an emotionless stare. Strongly. It's here, in my pulsating skin. You say my expression is emotionless. I listen. But it shows nothing. Listen. And if you say so, I didn't mean it. It must be true. Oh my God. But soon you will see something, because what I'm feeling is not nothing. Okay. Hey. Hi. <laughs> How many times are you gonna say hey to me? Have you ever masked? I haven't gone anywhere. Difference. Only to hide the overwhelming emotions hiding beneath. Have you? I I don't know. I selective hearing. I kind of wasn't listening in some ways. I. Okay, silence is good enough. This expression is this my expression. What is? Oh god, the yes or no. I what? Uh why? Okay, um yes. I see. Did I do a boo-boo? Thank you. Okay. You thank have you. truly helped me tonight. I am very glad. These are my eyes. These are my hands, and this is my expression. I consider these my most treasured features. Okay. And you have helped me picture them all. No one has done this for me. I feel a connection with you. I'm glad, I guess. One born out of honest gratitude, but there's one step left. Okay. You need to make sure of the truth. It is the only way to finally understand each other. Open my eyes. So please, I beg I, of you. I guess. Open your eyes. It's gonna look a lot different, huh? Okay. Uh oh. Oh, for the love of no, what? Oh, I'm getting the chills. I don't want no jump scare. There's nothing there. All in my head, right? Right, please. Whew, I knew it. It's just... Uh, wow, okay. Well, I knew it from the start. It had to be in my head. But that voice, man. Wait. That means we were a guy. Just by the voice. So not bad. Don't open your eyes. Because you end up getting a real good seductive conversation with yourself. I mean, that was pretty cool. Uh, different. I enjoyed it. Nice conversation with yourself before sleep. So yeah, open your eyes or don't open your eyes. Your choice. Thank you guys for watching. Drop me that like. Subscribe if you're new here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.